What is up designer friends? Welcome back to our top five websites of the month. This is a new year 2021 and we've got some really nice, inspiring, beautiful, amazing, crazy websites that are gonna open your head to, and perhaps teach you and inspire you for your next web design project. So let's dive straight into them. All right, the first website is from Chungi Yu. She is an art director, an illustrator. There's so many things I like here. First of all, typography. What a beautiful, typeface chosen. I mean, it's it's already puts you in the art direction. You know there's something artistic here. You know that it's premium. Um, and on top of that, everything here is non-conventional. I mean, this is a portfolio of obviously a designer and an art director, um, and it looks beautiful. Check out all the details. Like we've seen hamburger menus so many times, but check out this tiny little animation. And then the animations are different. The hover animation, check out the type. I mean, everything is in a sense so simple and yet pretty awesome and different and well thought out. Nothing here is just like the normal, what you would expect. So this is the first thing, very clean, very, all the details, all the tiny interactions. The other thing here, is, and we're actually gonna dive right into a page to see some of our works. There's, you can't really see a very clear grid here. Everything here is just, you know, changing all the time. So we're starting from very kind of a clean, there's an image in the background, and then there's a full screen image. Looks pretty regular so far, but then we're getting into kind of a two images layout, including this very nice kind of zoom in animation, and then, an image in the middle and then, whoa, images one on top of the other. Like the grid is always breaking. Something is always changing. It's again, it's nothing here is just the normal thing. I actually don't really know how they thought about this in terms of, yeah, maybe there's a structure that's repeating here because I was trying to think how are they gonna work this through this um, with a CMS that's going to make all the pages consistent. Anyway, the other thing that I wanted to show you here um, obviously everything here is beautiful. Check out, she's showcasing a project. And this is just an example because so many people are like, but I don't have cool projects to show in my portfolio. She, even though she's doing tons of real work, amazing real work, she's actually choosing to show here as her first work, who needs a haircut? Be Banks is a hypothetical hairdresser salon. So she's choosing to show us a personal project just because this is a fun project that she did, she's proud of. And she wants to show us kind of like the kind of stuff that she wants to work on versus just like what clients ask her to do. Super cool. Obviously, I love these colors, love these layouts, all in your face. I really, I'm, I'm a sucker for this kind of art direction. But again, I think, check out the layout. One time on the left, with something here changing and rotating, just so like cute details. Uh, then image on top of one another. This is not just like one next to another. I mean, I think this is brilliant um, and I really, really like this portfolio. Next one that we have is called Good Fight. This is actually an e-commerce website. What I like about this, check out when you're scrolling, the way that these things actually move is just by changing the, they're actually squeezing the imagery, which is something that usually you don't see um, because we're very trying not to squeeze images. This is like a big no-no in design, but they're actually using this in a smart way to give kind of like depth, kind of like you're scrolling through a book. Um, and I really, really like this. This is so simple, but it gives you such a fun experience scrolling. Also, I'm a sucker for punk. I used to listen to punk a lot when I was a teenager and this whole punk aesthetic, um, I really like this. So again, very simple. And this is an e-commerce website. So let's dive into it. It. Everything here is, again, very simple, but these very big tabs, it's kind of like in your face. So this is what I like here. It feels punk, but kind of like a stylish punk, which I guess is what their brand is all about. Uh, so very, very clean, but then different. Like, why is this tab so, you know, so big? Why it's kind of like makes it a little bit harder to read the text, but it's in purpose, it's not like a mistake. They obviously know how to design and they make these choices. Um, so I like this, I like this. Let's see how the actual e-commerce looks like. Um, let's go to the shop. And uh, what I like about the shop here is it kind of feels like Pinterest more than it feels like a shop, which is a nice thing. Let's try to move through the categories. Uh, 
you see, it, it kind of, it's pretty cool. It feels like, doesn't feel like a regular grid of the shop, it feels more like something that you scroll for inspiration. Um, and I like this, I like this. Um, E-commerce gets boring so, so often, and I like to see something that is a little bit out of the ordinary, very, very simple, yet I feel is, is pretty original. The next site I wanna so, show you is the new GitHub website. And wow, this is beautiful. I mean, we're gonna scroll through this whole thing. But I just wanna ask you, and if you've been following here all the kind of website redesigns that we've shown, to me, this website is very, very similar to, let me, let me see if you know it, to the Stripe new website, which also have this very similar rotating glob, very similar typefaces with gradients on them. I think the people who have redesigned GitHub, which I think, by the way, this is a very beautiful redesign, well done, very well done to take coding and something like coding that isn't really visual, that's very hard, doesn't have like a sexy UI and make a beautiful website out of it. I think this is a fantastic design job. However, I'm pretty convinced that the people who redesigned this took lots of inspiration from Stripe. They're not the only one, everybody does. Stripe does, always does like amazing d redesign. Uh, I think they've been very, very in, uh, inspired or influenced by them but I still think this website looks very, very cool. And it, it for me at least, it really puts GitHub on the cool map again, not just like a boring. The, the decision to go with the illustration is pretty cool. I think brings some vibe into it, brings a little bit of personality, um, not just like boring developer platform. So well done, GitHub. The next website is this Sea Shepherd. It's actually an organization. This is kind of like a nonprofit uh, or organization that try to rescue fishing uh, nets from the sea or illegal fishing or something like that. And what I like about this is that when you have a nonprofit, when you have something that most people are either not interested in or they try to, you know, forget about this because they don't want to feel guilty about not doing anything. You really have to make the website really, really cool and make people want to interact with it so that you can get their attention so that you can tell their story. And I really, really like how they did it here. It's pretty cool. You can rotate the earth to see the different missions and, sh uh, and ships that they have here. And it's pretty fun to explore this. Again, very beautiful type, kind of like they're obviously been inspired by the, the whole pirate thing, like we're the pirates against the pirates. But what I do like here is how they actually use this 3D thing to actually make you take action. So obviously with a nonprofit, what you want is to get donations. Now here's the thing, you can choose how much you wanna donate. And when you move this, this scale of how much you're donating, five, 10, 20, you can see that the impact of you know what they're able to achieve with their mission grows as you scale. I think this is a fantastic use of design to create emotion and also communicate what's going to happen, right? The more you donate, the more impact you're creating. I think this is a very, very nice, well done use of this whole 3D scene that they've created. So it's not just for the coolness effect of it, it's also I believe really helped them to get more donations, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. All right, the last website that I wanna share with you is this uh, Proto Homes, which is basically kind of like a prototyping thing that, you know, for building homes. And this website has a lot of cool things. So when you just land on it, it's like, what is this? Like, I don't understand what I'm seeing. It's just like pieces of homes. But when you start scrolling down, all of these pieces start to come together. So obviously there's like, a video here that's tied into your scroll and it becomes a home. And then uh, the nice thing about this, that this finished home actually turns into a video of like the finished product. So you feel like you've went from something 3D like into a real scene where you get to see the trees are moving and you feel like this is actual a scene. So this is really, really nice. And then, all right, precision and speed. They're gonna show you now examples of stuff that they did with it. So they're showing you a grid of photos, which is something pretty common you know, in web design. But as you keep scrolling, 
all of a sudden the, the grid kind of breaks and you zoom into something. I think this is pretty original. I don't, I haven't seen this uh, in a lot of places. And I, I really like this interaction because it's pretty surprising. You, you're like, okay, here's a gallery. But as you keep scrolling, you're kind of like zooming in into one project and keep on uh, zooming. I really, really like this. Um, otherwise, it looks pretty cool, right? They have this nice navigation of like, here's what you can build with our, you know, proto prototyping thing. You can build big things. You can build small things. Um, it looks pretty, pretty cool. And I think they've done some very nice things here in terms of storytelling and how to put you in the context of what you can build with their stuff. All right, I hope this video got you some, you know, some ideas of things that you can implement in your own ideas. If you want to learn more about web design and become a better web designer, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're liking this video so YouTube knows to give you more great content from us. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.